Okay, the last in a five-part series looking at big ideas from educational psychology that I hope you take with you. Big, big ideas. First of all, you can't imagine teaching without the teacher. You are the most significant variable in determining the quality of education. How much learning takes place and what takes place is all dependent on that human being standing in front of the classroom. Not a curriculum, not a computer, not other things. As such, you are an instrument. Investing in yourself is a good investment in becoming a good teacher. Learning about yourself internally, externally, uh, but also understanding your emotions, the creative part of you, but also learning, being curious, learning about new stuff. Everything you learn, who you are, comes into that classroom. You cannot be a teacher without being a person. When you are in this teaching long enough, your teaching self and your real personal self begins to merge. And authentic teaching is teaching from who you are, being who you are as a human being uh, in a teaching environment. As far as being a teacher, you can be as good as you want to be. I used to tell my wrestlers, you can be as good as you want to be or as bad as you deserve to be. Being a good wrestler or a good teacher is a matter of hard work and preparation. All right? You, anyone can teach well. Anyone can be a very good teacher if he or she is willing to spend the time to prepare, to prepare lessons, to learn new things. Now, there is no such thing as a finished teaching product or a finished human product for that matter. We continue to learn and grow and evolve throughout our teaching careers. I'm a much better teacher this year than I was last year. I've read more information. I've written more stuff. The act of teaching where I have to explain things helps me understand as well. Hopefully, you will keep learning and growing, adding new strategies, new pedagogy, new knowledge until the day that you retire. There is no such thing as a finished teaching product, meaning also that we cannot create a teaching finished product in four semesters or whatever it is in teacher preparation. That's kind of, kind of an insult to these master teachers. At best, we will prepare you to begin to learn how to be this thing called a teacher. This idea that the general public has that you just send someone down a conveyor belt and add predetermined bits of knowledge and skills and they'll come out the other end, a teach, uh, finished teacher product is not based on a body of research related to how to become an effective teacher. Being that good teacher, that finished teaching product, means professional development once you start, be, uh, once you start in the field. And the last thing, if you are think you're there, if you think you're this finished teaching product, if you think you know all there is to know about teaching and learning, you are not even close. The more I learn, the more you learn, the more you realize how much more you have to learn. The more you know, the more you realize how little you know. Big ideas that I hope you take with you from this course. These are not the only ideas, of course. These are just ones that I'm thinking of, of today.